We're talking to Dr. Faulkner from Meharry Medical College, and we're dealing with uh, diabetes and kidney disease. Uh, one of the uh, real issues dealing with uh, uh, kidney disease and uh, diabetes, uh, Dr. Faulkner, as you probably know, is the uh, whole issue of weight control. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about uh, that as an issue that you face uh, dealing with uh, some of your patients. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, of course, when you talk about prevention of diabetes, mm -hmm. um, obesity is very much related to and probably the number one cause of mm -hmm. diabetes mellitus in the United mm -hmm. States of America. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, we overeat. Um, we supersize, mm -hmm. and that has been a tremendous problem that mm -hmm. uh, we see as a big cause for uh, diabetes. Now, um, as we look at diabetes occurring in uh, childhood now, mm -hmm. you know, it used to be uh, that what they used to call the juvenile diabetes mm -hmm. or the insulin-dependent diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, now, we're finding children with the mm -hmm. adult type of diabetes. Mm -hmm starting very early mm -hmm. in life, and those children are uh, extremely obese. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we wanted to prevent diabetes, which cost about $92 billion mm -hmm. uh, in 2002, mm -hmm. if we want to cut that cost, if we want to control diabetes, uh, we can start out early with diet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and exercise. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, they had cut a lot of the exercise out in the schools Scoot, and people mm -hmm. don't walk and mm -hmm. people drive everywhere, mm -hmm. including myself. Mm -hmm. um, if we go back to exercise, walking, mm -hmm. uh, I think that we can, and s stop supersizing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then I think that we can grab some type of mm -hmm. a hold on the weight control mm -hmm. and prevent a lot of diabetes. Mm -hmm. Just a little prevention in terms of, if, if you're talking about something that costs 90, what, 90 odd? 92 billion. Billion dollars. If you're talking about a, a very little prevention ought to be able to, uh, mm -hmm deal with that as an issue. You know. And see that covers all of diabetes. Mm -hmm. That's all the home health visits, the mm -hmm. hospital visits, the uh, uh, amputations that mm -hmm. you get from diabetes mm -hmm. because diabetes is the number one cause for non-traumatic. That mm -hmm. means not an accident mm -hmm. causing an uh, amputation but just mm -hmm. non-traumatic amputations. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is the number one cause. Mm -hmm. uh, big cost in, in diabetic eye disease, mm -hmm. with diabetic retinopathy, blindness mm -hmm. from diabetes. So we can prevent a lot mm -hmm. of problems that we have. Heart disease, mm -hmm. heart attacks. A lot of patients with diabetes have coronary artery disease. Mm -hmm. So if we can uh, prevent diabetes, we can curb a lot of the cost mm -hmm. that's related mm -hmm. to diabetic mm -hmm. care. And this would include medicine, the hospitals, and the whole thing, just the whole, the whole <coughs> medical, medical uh, bill that we have to pay as a nation. That, exactly. That we can really deal with that. Exactly. Um, well, it, it, it seems to me, well, do you believe that we are as uh, actively engaged as a nation in trying to deal with uh, prevention uh, rather than uh, simply to wait on something to happen? I, I think that we are. I think that a lot of people do understand that we need to cut back. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of states have uh, mm -hmm. weight control programs mm -hmm. um, and we're working desperately trying to educate patients when they come into the clinics mm -hmm. to see us. Mm -hmm especially at the Metropolitan National General Hospital and, mm -hmm. and the clinics of Meharry Medical College. Mm -hmm. uh, we even implemented uh, a program in uh, family medicine at Meharry mm -hmm. where we uh, implement all of the uh, diabetic indicators in the electronic medical record to mm -hmm. make sure that we don't miss any patient that comes mm -hmm. in, look for those indicators mm -hmm. that might end mm -hmm. up in, in mm -hmm. organ damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so there's a real push on in, in reference to trying to deal with this as a disease to prevent uh, diabetes. Uh, to prevent diabetes mm -hmm. and to control the diabetes mm -hmm. if you already have it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to look for any organ that might be uh, exposed to trauma from diabetes. Mm -hmm. When you talk about organs exposed to trauma from diabetes, what, 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 what are we saying? Uh, we're talking about brain. We mm -hmm. don't want you to end up with a stroke. Uh -huh. So we don't want you to have a high cholesterol, which mm -hmm. could cause uh, you to end up having a stroke, mm -hmm. heart attack. Mm -hmm. Uh, or peripheral vascular disease mm -hmm. where you would end up having to have amputations mm -hmm. or kidney disease which would you would end mm -hmm. up on dialysis or eye disease for mm -hmm. blindness mm -hmm. so we try to get you seen by the specialist that you mm -hmm. need to be seen by and to monitor your blood sugar mm -hmm. through the primary care clinics and monitor mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. uh, organs as well. Well now have we always had this interest in, 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 in diabetes as a, as a disease? I mean have we always been that concerned about it? as a nation or as uh, physicians as within your profession? 
Yes, we've always been concerned, but we never had this explosion mm -hmm. of oh, diabetics, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, we never had the, the obesity that we're seeing mm -hmm. now. As mm -hmm. you know, the obesity has increased over the past 20 years. Mm -hmm. 20 mm -hmm. years ago, we didn't have all these obese people. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that is one of the major factors, you would say, uh, yes. dealing with diabetes. Yes. That if we could really do, do something to con control our weight, uh, yes. just for the, uh, for the sake of health, and yes. health alone, uh, that, that, that would uh, uh, impact uh, how much we pay for these uh, in order to deal with the disease. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It would definitely, definitely help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it, 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 it would be cost effective in a real sense to, uh, uh, to, to go as far as we possibly can to eliminate it. Now, Meharry Medical College also uh, is associated with a uh, clinic. Uh, is it not a diabetic uh, clinic uh, where uh, you... Yes, we do have diabetic specialists mm -hmm. in Meharry. Well, mm -hmm. you also, I think at one time you talked about uh, having a center there for uh, mm -hmm. people who have to uh, go on dialysis, etc. Why don't you say something uh, about that uh, well, center and, and how you how it's supported? Mm -hmm. uh, for now, nah, for dialysis. So if you end up on dialysis, mm -hmm. if you end up with an organ damage from diabetes or any other disease, mm -hmm. and you end up on dialysis, yes, we do have a chronic di mm -hmm. uh, dialysis center at Meharry. Uh, it's a partnership with Dialysis Clinic Incorporated and mm -hmm. Meharry Medical College, and we have a center right. Excuse me, right there on campus, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's a very nice center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's open to people in, in the general area. Oh yes, this, uh, it's open mm -hmm. to anybody who would like to come in. Or is there some kind of special kind of health insurance that they have to have in order to take advantage of the? Uh, mm -hmm. the yes, uh, all patients must have some form of mm -hmm. uh, coverage mm -hmm. uh, to be in the center. Uh, the there is the state does not pick up coverage unless you're under 10 care mm -hmm. okay and the federal government picks up your coverage if you're under medicare mm -hmm. but um, the cost of dialysis for a person to pay for it out of their own pocket is tremendous mm -hmm. so that's almost impossible to do mm -hmm. uh, so in, you have to be covered in some form of mm -hmm. fashion you got to have some some kind of coverage in order to uh, yes. be served uh, in reference to that and those individuals who <coughs> might just so happen not to be covered uh, uh, they're sort of what? They get covered. Uh, they get, mm -hmm, they, mm -hmm, there's always mm -hmm. something, there's always a stopgap yeah. uh, in a real sense. Yeah, if you're a citizen of the United States, mm -hmm. then uh, the United States certainly covers you mm -hmm. uh, through the state or federal mm -hmm. funds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So very good. And so there, there's a recognition on the part of yes. uh, the government that some individuals, even though, and we often hear people talk about people who don't have health uh, coverage and et cetera. Right. But if your health is, uh, is of such that, uh, you really need this in order to survive that there is always yes. a possibility of somebody yes. coming to your aid. Mm -hmm. And we have people in place at Metropolitan National General Hospital as well as the dialysis unit mm -hmm. to help facilitate that mm -hmm. coverage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And so, and, and, and so the uh, medical uh, community is doing almost as much as they can possibly do in terms of trying to curb uh, this disease, but uh, without the assistance of individuals themselves, then there's not that much we can do. Yes, is that, exactly. Is, that, is, is exactly. that a correct assessment? Yes. But that if, if an individual uh, uh, believes that he or she might be drifting toward that, that there are some things that you've indicated that they can do, because if they don't do these things, then the possibilities of them ending up on dialysis and et cetera is very great. Yes. So is that, uh -huh. Yes, it is. It's mm -hmm. very great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, uh, Dr. Faulkner, we've got about a minute and a half before we uh, end this show for today, but uh, do you have any final comments that you'd like to make in reference to uh, some of the things that we've talked about? Well, you know, I think that um, we should watch our weight. Mm -hmm. We should exercise mm -hmm. more. Uh, we shouldn't supersize. Mm -hmm. Uh, we should watch the fast foods that mm -hmm. we eat and mm -hmm. try to cut back on them, mm -hmm. eat fresh fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. um, to prevent diabetes. Mm -hmm. If we have diabetes, then we should certainly uh, monitor our blood sugars very closely. Mm -hmm. We should visit the doctor regularly. Mm -hmm and uh, we should uh, make sure that we get our eyes examined once, uh, have eye examinations once mm -hmm. a year, uh, make sure we visit a dietitian or get some kind of diabetic counseling mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. least once a year. Mm -hmm. So we have things that we should do. Mm -hmm. We should monitor our cholesterol mm -hmm. and our lipid levels once a year. Mm -hmm. So there are things that we should do and certainly we should monitor our kidneys every mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And so if, if an individual is, is really concerned about his or her health, and they understand the uh, possible outcomes that they are not uh, uh, conscientious in terms of trying to deal with, with uh, some of the problems, then 
Uh, it's really up to them. It's very little that you can do as a physician. The only exactly. thing you can do is deliver the message, but if they don't uh, accept the message, then there's very little that anybody exactly. can do. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I appreciate, uh, Dr. Falkner, the information that you've given us. Again, I believe that it is an excellent uh, piece of information. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.